Hi, I'm Ryan Johnson of RMJ Tactical. I want to talk about scabbards today, um, the history of our scabbards. Uh, when we first started making tactical tomahawks uh, for the Afghanistan campaign, we, um, uh, the scabbards were pretty flimsy. They were, they were pretty sorry. They were 16th inch kydex. They were formed uh, to each piece. Uh, they were not great, uh, but they served the purpose, sort of, when uh, the guys came back uh, from Afghanistan when fifth group came back uh, I got to talk to them and was kind of getting an after-action report of how the Tomahawks did and I asked them that was one of my questions like how did the scabbard do I was real worried about that and uh, the guy said well we didn't use the scabbards I'm like you didn't use the scabbards you know what, what how did you carry them he said no oh, we just kind of slid them in our you know our, our pack and uh, carried them blade out and uh, I said uh, well far be it for me to tell you what's dangerous but isn't that kind of dangerous? And um, he said, well, you know, you have to understand the culture. Uh, it's a blade culture. And uh, they respect bladed weapons. And it was kind of a, it's kind of a machismo uh, thing. So, uh, so I, I had a lot to learn about scabbards when we first started out. And uh, as time went on, uh, I had a gentleman, um, uh, Fort Bragg uh, medic, who said, uh, you know, we need to really change up your scabbard. And we need it to be a, a bottom eject style. We need to be, make it towards Molly compatible. Uh, that was the first time I'd ever heard the term Molly was from that guy. And so we started working on a Molly compatible scabbard that was bottom eject. And that's when we came up with this scabbard. This is a, a fairly old uh, generation scabbard. There were about three generations before this one. Uh, but this was our first bottom eject scabbard. And uh, you can see it's, it's pretty big. Um, it had a lot of interesting features. It was weapon sling compatible, which is one thing he wanted. Um, it had slots on Molly centers where you could put in a uh, malice clip from Tactical Taylor, which is how he wanted to carry. Uh, it had hole positions for um, um, a, a tech lock, um, and it had uh, these straps, uh, we used polypropylene straps back then, that, uh, that kept the tomahawk in place. So Kydex, it went up, it was completely ambidextrous, which was something he insisted on. And uh, so I worked with him and I worked with another gentleman down at AFSOC. Between those two, we kind of came up with this scabbard. Um, about a year and a half, two years later, I had a gentleman call me uh, actually from uh, Iraq and he was, uh, he was unhappy with the size of the footprint. He said, this is too big. It's just too big for my kit and uh, you need to come up with something that's much, much smaller. And, and I, I proceeded to say, I can't come up with anything smaller. And he, um, he had some choice words for my lack of uh, confidence and said, you can do this. And so I did. And so we worked uh, for, for about two months straight and came up with this scabbard. And this is our current scabbard. It's what we call the bikini uh, because it's so much smaller than the other scabbard. And uh, so this is our current scabbard. And there's some interesting features about it. Uh, one, it is like the original, completely ambidextrous. So I can carry it left or right, and all the features of it work both ways. Um, another interesting thing about it, it is, and it is a bottom eject type scabbard. You have one uh, strap that's a nylon strap now that is adjustable for tension. And your hawk goes in, goes out, and then you can secure it with that strap if you wish. The strap is held in with a three slot buckle, what I call a buckle. It's actually three slots in the scabbard itself. It allows you to take the strap out within, without any tools, turn it around, put it on the other side, or, or remove it completely if you don't want the strap on there. These straps are the same kind of deal. There are three slots on either side. They're on molly centers. It allows you to molly the scabbard up with nothing but a one inch strap. So you can take any random one inch strap, put it in here, and lock it in on your uh, web gear on your pal's wedding. Um, it also allows you to take these off and put in weapon sling. Um, it also will take a malice clip. Uh, this has hole spacing for your uh, tech lock, molly locks. You can actually bolt malice clips to this. It works with a lot of different industry stuff. Our rump, the uh, rigid universal molly platform that we manufacture, the uh, bewitterman pup also works uh, with this hole spacing. So. What I really want to do is give the user a lot of options. Um, it doesn't matter which way you carry it. I want, you know, if you want a weapon sling, if you want to use uh, uh, someone else's Molly adapter, you can. Uh, G-Code makes a uh, product for this, so you can use G-Code's adapters. Um, we take our scabbards very seriously, uh, because if you can't carry it, you can't use it. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, the AFSOC gentleman I referred to earlier, he, that was what he always said, and uh, we take that to heart. 
Another thing that's nice about our Skyridge is they're very thick. This is eighth inch Kydex. Uh, a lot of people will, will, will go with the uh, 332 or the 16th inch Kydex. We use eighth inch because we don't want you falling down on your hawk and it poking through the scabbard. Um, and which I've, I've seen happen with other stuff and uh, so we, we make our scabbards, we overbuild our scabbards so that it, uh, it, you don't get hurt with it. And uh, so that's our scabbard and uh, we'll do some other videos soon about uh, ways of attaching this, show you different ways you can molly it up uh, and uh, carry it. Thanks. <laughs>